Okay, so I'm at the office right now, and uh, brought you in with me so that you can see um, the type of uh, helmets that we use for work. So basically, that's uh, the one that I'm going to put my time on and uh, a little bit of a review. Aside from the one that I usually use my everyday carry. So let's um, look at this. So these are um, the basic helmets that we use uh, in responding to emergencies. Um, as you can see, it's kind of buried, and uh, we have uh, issued ones for um, EMS response. So we just use this one. This is, is a um, Chinese copy of, uh, I think this is a maritime fast helmet, and we have this for daily use. Every time we respond to emergencies, uh, my guys use this. Um, Good thing with this, although it's a Chinese copy, it's also cheap. It's uh, it's just a bomb helmet. Fun fact: bomb helmet and ballistic helmets are different. So here are the difference. First is the weight. This is a ballistic helmet. It's an IBH integrated um, ballistic helmet. It's uh, about close to <laughs> close to. Uh, um, Three fourth of a kilo, I think. And this one, is just a bump on it. So, uh, yeah, uh, basically it's uh, different. So, uh, military guys, ex military guys, um, those working in emergency departments, uh, they either use bump helmet or, uh, yeah, climbing helmets like this one. It's a pencil. Uh, Helmet and uh, this is actually expensive than the Chinese copy. So the Chinese copy will be uh, around 1,500 pesos. Yeah, it's around that. So and uh, this one will cost you for about 7,000 pesos, I guess. Uh, Five to 7,000 pesos. I'm not sure. So Chinese copy. This one is a Bepzel uh, original that's expensive and uh, we do about half five of these. That's uh, not just for climbing but also for EMS work. The same thing with this one. They also use this for EMS work. Um, as a review, these are okay. The bad thing sometimes is that they use you know, cheap uh, plastic as bubbles and uh, because of that, they sometimes break bubbles as you can see we already changed it with uh, a makeshift one it's a metal one so that works if it's cheap um, the quality is going to be bad Velcro's coming out apart the good thing with these ones is that you can put uh, yeah you can uh, place your unit emblem here uh, as a patch so Again, this is a Chinese copy of, uh, of the Maritime Past. Now, that zone on the, head, the other hand has its own vents. They're quite expensive. But the good thing with this is these are certified for climbing. So, this is a lot. But for every day, uh, we use this one too. Now, in terms of uh, tactical medicine, in terms of responding to uh, incidents with law enforcement uh, concerns, we got our guys uh, ready. So I'll flash um, the vest right here. So that was an Emerson um, modified uh, vest with uh, level 4 NIJA uh, ballistic armor. That's, uh, that's what we use uh, whenever we uh, respond to probable law enforcement uh, incidents. 
in support of law enforcement activities uh, with the police or with the army or you know uh, just to protect the guys so we have those but in terms of helmet um, we don't have the ballistic ones this one this is an IBH this is my old one that's why it's an IBH if you recognize uh, IBHs IBH system has this type of uh, this is, like I said, it's, a, it's an old system. It's, I think IBH has been around since the 1990s. Um, until 1996, if I'm not mistaken. It's sturdy. It can uh, protect you if you get shot with a quarter body. <laughs> but not higher than that. So it's like an NIJA level 3 uh, rated. So, but we, I don't carry this as a uh, uh, for daily uh, carry of course I don't carry this uh, always um, the NVG so we do have the NVGs and uh, I, I can the good thing with this is that I can put the NVG right on this bomb helmet by the way this is an Emerson so the maker is ILC Dover I'm not sure if the company is still around yet um, still but um, I don't use this often, I only use this on really, you know, critical situation and uh, we have, we don't have that, a lot of those uh, even during uh, uh, training with uh, or uh, drills with the police. So, the attachments are good, same, same as the, the ones, the Chinese ones here, we can uh, swap it. The one helmet is Emerson, like I said, um, it has you can uh, you can rack lights, of course, helmet covers, um, your unit logo, so you can use that, use that. and of course lights, another light, forget the name of this one. And the thing with this is that you can exchange the mount, you can use this mount with this one here. like that so it's already done of course I have to remove all those things the same thing so I can exchange the earmuffs put it over here it's also the same thing I usually put the earmuffs I'm, I'm going to do some probably some uh, b-rolls on at least two helmets but uh, I'll show you where I place um, the earmuffs, but right now it's around here. The lock for the earmuffs would be from here, so it covers the, the ear like, like so. Like that one. It's right here. So I have to secure them, the battery for the yeah, for the NVG, it's right there. And, yeah, it works. So overall, this is a review. Uh, Chinese copies of uh, helmets also work. They're cheap, inexpensive, they're both the same. Uh, but, you can buy them in Lazada for about 1,200 pesos, so that will work uh, if you don't have much of a budget. If you do have a budget, invest also in uh, climbing helmets like this one. This is Patso. I think it's around 5,000 pesos. And Emerson for high quality um, practicas being used as a bump helmet. Um, I use this as an everyday carry and uh, you can rack it also um, if you're working on the same field as me. So yeah, this one will work. You don't need these really heavy thing on your head every day. It's going to be a nightmare in your neck. So yeah, all these types of helmets will work. Even if it's cheap, it will work. Um, 
The reason why this is called a bump helmet is basically it's not made for, you know, if you get shot in the head and you'll still die wearing this one because it's not ballistic. Most people in, uh, uh, in the police and the military community in the US, some of them doesn't really wear heavy things like this one, ballistic things. They wear uh, bump helmets because basically it's easy so and it's uh, lighter and you're just uh, protecting your noggin. So that's basically the reason for that. So um, let's go to the B-roll.